Representative Mason, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Can you describe the district you represent and tell us what your constituents care about? In 51A, I would say we have a variety of different populations, but in, and some people have lived there for forever. Well, we've had a lot of people coming into the area. I mean, we, we really have had a lot of growth, uh, both in Burnsville and Egan over the years. But yet, I think some of the things that the, everyone values are items like education, like the outdoors, like having good uh, places to recreate. And we, you know, we, we do have some fantastic parks in our area. And then we're also very, very fortunate to have a number of really good companies and businesses throughout our area. So it's, it's an area that is, as I said, very diverse, but it's, it's an area that we have, to me, the diversity, we are very, very fortunate. Uh, that makes it a great place to live. Why did you initially decide to run for office as a representative? Well, initially, uh, for the House of Representatives, it was because one year there, there was uh, a young man that was going to run, but he also uh, was looking at another position out of state, and right at the end of the year, he decided he he just didn't think it was uh, he wasn't sure when it, the new job was going to start. So they needed someone, and they came up to me and asked me, and uh, and I thought that it would be an exciting time to be in the legislature, and it truly has been. What is the most difficult aspect of being a legislator? probably some of the votes that I have to take. Uh, I think we all have ideals of what we would like to see passed and uh, there's certain, we all have priorities, but there are times when if I, you know, say if it's a, a bonding bill or a tax bill and I know it needs to be passed and there are a couple of items in there that I really, really disagree with, but in the end, I still know that if, if we want the bill to be passed and we want government to uh, work in the way we want to, that I have to vote for, for the bill. What do you see as the biggest challenge the state will face in the next 10 years? I do sit on the transportation committees. And I have a very strong concern that if we don't get some decent funding for transportation going forward, that will make it very, very difficult for us to have the economy that we need to be successful, or as successful as we have been in the past. So I, I would say that's the number one issue uh, on my chart right now. I think education would be another one, but I think we made some really good inroads in the 2013 legislat le legislative session, and I see us being able to go forward with that piece. What are your hidden talents or hobbies? At this point, I really don't have time for many hobbies. It used to be reading and going to concerts, but it just seems like there is so much going on right now with the legislature that it seems like I'm going to meetings or else just doing the reading that I need uh, to make sure that we're making the best decisions going forward.